Hi there, I'm Julie from Super Wellness, Head of Nutrition and Wellbeing. And thrilled to be here talking to you about our session on plant power. And that's because I'm a huge advocate for increasing the amount of plant foods in our diet. You only need to ask my kids about that and they will definitely verify things like stir fries, dolls, veggie chilies, ribellatas, soups. These are regular features in our house. And you may have also notice this shift towards plant-based foods. You see it in the supermarkets with huge aisles offering us these plant-based options. Better for our health and the environment. And indeed, we do look into the issue of sustainability in our topic, eco-friendly eating. But for this topic, we really wanna to get to grips with what plant power actually means. Does it mean going vegetarian or vegan? Or does it actually mean embracing more foods? Actually, we don't wanna restrict your foods that you're eating. We want to encourage you to eat far more foods, but they need to be plant varieties. So we're talking about vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, grains, and these all offer significant benefits to our health and well-being. When we look at vegetables, some people might have a hangover from childhood about overcooked veg and limp lettuce leaves. So we're seeking to encourage new ideas. We're going to highlight the wide variety of ways we can incorporate fruit and vegetables into our diets and how they can be tasty and exciting as well as nutrition. We explore portion sizes and we look at how much we should be aiming for per day. No, that bit of lettuce in your sandwich is definitely not a portion. Um, so we examine that in a bit more detail. And what about those people who may have already embraced a fully plant-based way of eating, such as vegans? Well, we look at key nutrients that might be missing from that kind of diet and how to obtain good levels via careful meal planning or supplementation. It's also important to note that plant-based is wide reaching and it also, as well as the ones I mentioned, includes things like legumes, herbs and spices, and that this is not a boring way to eat. And in fact, it can be really exciting when you start exploring new foods and new recipes and revamp some of those boring snacks. So I'm off to make lunch. Does beetroot and lentil salad sound good? And um, I hope that you investigate this session further.